I have been sewing and quilting for many years now and I have never once made an Irish chain quilt. Well now I can cross it off my bucket list because today we are making my jumbo Irish chain quilt. And for the fabrics I am using this season of tribute, Roots of Nature by Bonnie Christine and Moss as the background, which are all from Art Gallery Fabrics. And I will have a link down below in the description for you to purchase from a quilt store that I trust and also personally shop at. And doing so, a small percentage will go towards helping my channel. Now, Jumbo Irish Chain is built off of five inch squares, commonly known as charm squares. But I am using a layer cake, which means I will need to cut them down into four five inch square per each 10 inch square. Now one layer cake will yield you a king size quilt plus background of course and I will have that free PDF pattern available down below in the description and it is written for both five inch squares and 10 inch squares and of course Jumbo Irish Chain is available in five quilt sizes baby throw twin queen and king. Then with your background fabric, you're going to be cutting five inch squares and 14 inch squares as well, which I have already done so. So let's go ahead and create a nine patch block. Select five print five inch squares and four background five inch squares and create your nine patch block. Now you're going to sew your squares together to form rows and then lastly sew those rows together to complete the quilt block. And once your block is completed, it will measure 14 inches, which will be the same size as your larger background squares. So go ahead and repeat this until you have made enough for the quilt size that you have selected. And once all of your blocks are finished, it is time to lay your quilt out and all you are going to be doing is alternating between the two blocks. And because this block is jumbo size, your quilt top will come together very quickly. Then as always, sew your blocks together to form rows and then lastly, sew the rows together to complete your quilt top. And here is what my quilt top looks like all finished. Because I made the king size version and because these blocks are massive, I wanted to kind of take a wider photo for you all with it laying on the ground in our spare room, just so you can kind of get a better idea of the quilt. Now I am going to be using this gorgeous butterfly fabric within the collection for the backing and glide thread in fern. Now sadly, I don't have a green that matches the correct tone that this moss solid is, but this is actually going to work perfectly for both the front and the back of the quilt. And here is what my jumbo Irish train looks like all quilted out. And I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could, please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project. Thank you.